Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a great video for you today on dust spot removal. If you've done photography for any amount of time, especially landscape photography, you have certainly come up against problems with dust spots. You get a little speck or two of dust on your sensor, and then all of a sudden you get your images, that start looking at them on the computer, and you see these spots all over the place. You usually see them in the sky is one of the worst places, and it's a huge pain. Now certainly you could go in and just remove them each one at a time, and that's not terrible, but if you've got a lot of images you need to do, um, there's faster ways of doing it. And today we're going to look at Luminar Neo's new dust spot removal tool. Now if you don't have Luminar Neo, there is a link down below where you can check it out, uh, or you can just follow along with the video, and I will show you how easy it is to do. It really is a one-click process in a lot of cases. If you haven't already done so, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit the little bell so that you get updates whenever we come out with a new video. But as I said, it's gonna be a quick video, so let's jump right into it and roll the intro. Okay, so these are the two files we're going to work with today. These are both some cloud shots. I like to uh, collect a whole bunch of clouds when I'm out and about and I see a nice group of clouds in the sky. I like to capture those to have for future uh, projects to replace skies and things like that. Uh, it's just you have to be careful because sometimes, especially if you're using a um, really long depth of field, uh, and you've gotten messy with your sensor, it's easy to get these sensor spots on here. And you can see this one is absolutely horrible. Now, you could go through with something like the spot healing brush and just one at a time um, erase them like that. And that would actually do a pretty good job, but it would take you a while to do it. And you can imagine if you had uh, a bunch of these images to work on, it would take quite a while. So we're going to drop this image into Luminar Neo, and I'm going to show you how fast it is. Okay, so we're in the software. We've got all our tools off here to the side. Now, before I knock out all these dust spots, I just want to show you really quickly how easy it is to fix some of these other things. One, it's a little crooked, and secondly, I've got this pole sticking up into the sky, and I'm not as worried about the trees because I will probably, if I use this as a uh, replace sky file, I'll stop before I get to the trees, but I'd rather not lose this amount of cloud up through here. So first I'm going to click on crop, hit the horizontal alignment button, and then I'm just going to kind of drag down here. And I'm just looking at this um, grass line along here until it looks uh, relatively even. I think that's fine, something about like that. Hit crop. Okay, so now we want to just knock out this pole here. We're going to go to erase. Again, this is going to be super easy. All I do is highlight the area I want to erase. Hit the erase button. It's it's that easy. It's very crazy. This is gonna be a short tutorial. Okay, so now we've got all these dust spots that look terrible, and we can even zoom in a little bit more if you want, just to get in where we can really see how bad it is all through here. All I'm going to do is simply hit the button that says remove dust spots, and it will go through here, and it takes a second to process it but it will go through, find all of them, and knock them out. And there you go. It did leave this one here, but as you can see, all the rest of them are gone. Um, this one's easy enough to just hit the erase button and hit that, hit erase, and it's gone. So you can see it did a great job getting rid of all of those spots. Okay, let's jump back in here real quick, grab the other file, And we've got kind of a similar problem here with this sign sticking up. So we'll go ahead and hit Erase. Color it in, like so. Hit Erase. And it's gone. Now again, we've got these pesky spots up there, up here, all over the place. We're just going to go to Remove Dust Spots. Let it do its work. And it's gonna go through Find All These Spots and remove them. And there we go. Interestingly enough, it still kind of left that dark spot in this same area right here. And uh, But that's easy enough to, to fix if we just erase it. Come right over there, hit erase, and it's gone. 
Now, it's left some of the dust spots down here in the ground. I think that it's more geared toward working on the sky, um, and that's where it has done the bulk of its work. But if you get in here and we zoom in a little bit, look up here and we will do the before and after by hitting this little button down here. There's where they were. You can see they're gone. So it really is a huge time saver. You can see how going through clicking on all those really would be a uh, huge amount of time to, to go through and work on. So this um, dust spots removal is just such a very helpful tool when you get those pesky dust spots. It's a really quick fix. So um, hope that helps. And there you go. It was really quick and easy. You know, we had uh, pretty much a one-click fix for both of those images. You know, we did have that one pesky one in the middle that wouldn't go away, and we just had to take care of that one individually. But by and large, it went through, found all those spots, and removed them seamlessly. So I think it's a really easy process that will fix the vast majority of your problems with dust spots. Be sure and let me know below uh, what process you've been using for dust spot removal. If that's a problem that you've had in the past, I'd love to know how you're fixing it and if this seems like a faster solution. If you don't already have Luminar Neo, there is a link down below, as I mentioned before. You can use the coupon code LARRYPHOTO and that'll get you a discount on the product. In fact, if you already have it and you're just trying to buy some add-on things like Skies, you can use that uh, to get a discount as well. So it's pretty handy. But that's all we've got for right now. I uh, hope to see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.